Hi guys, welcome to Nurses Handbook and today I will be discussing with you about the first aid management of epistaxis that is bleeding from nose. Nasal bleed occurs when tiny blood vessels in the nostrils are ruptured and there can be many causes for it. So now let us see one by one the causes. Hot and dry weather or climate can be one reason for the nasal bleed and in some cases some minor injuries also may result in nasal bleed. Blowing the nose vigorously, picking out crust from the nose can also be the reasons or the causes of epistaxis. Nose bleeds may also occur as a result of high blood pressure and it can also be seen in patients who are on anticoagulant medications. Now coming to the first aid management of epistaxis, the first thing to do is to reassure the casualty and if the clothing are too tight then loosen it especially at the neck. Second is to tell the casualty to sit down and tilt his head forward to allow the blood to drain from the nostrils and to pinch the soft part of his nose for up to 10 minutes. Tell the person not to lean backward so that he does not swallow or aspirate in blood. Usually bleeding stops within 10 to 15 minutes. After 10 minutes tell the casualty to release the pressure. If the bleeding has not stopped tell him to reapply the pressure for two further periods of 10 minutes. Ask him to breathe through his mouth. This will help him to have a calming effect. We can also apply the cold compress on the nose of the patient as it will reduce bleeding by the process of vasoconstriction. Advise the casualty not to speak, swallow, cough, spit or sniff since this may disturb the blood clots that have formed in the nose. Even after the bleeding has stopped, advise your patient to consult the doctor. Here you can see the position where the patient is sitting and leaning forward slightly with his nostrils pinched. This is known as the trotter's position. In a few cases, a nosebleed can be serious and lead to death. So when should a person seek medical help? If the nasal bleed continues after 20 minutes. Secondly, if the nosebleed was caused by a hard punch on the nose or by a fall or by a road accident etc. If blood spurts from the nose are there, then one should seek a medical help. And lastly, if the injured person turns pale, becomes sleepy or falls unconscious, one should seek a medical help. So after giving all the first aid management to the patient, remember to wash your hands properly. And if there is no soap and water available, use alcohol based sanitizers to clean your hands. Thank you for watching. For more videos and updates like this, do like, share and subscribe to our channel Nurses Handbook.